So, as a, uh, another example of a Sidox uh, uh, theorem extension, I want to give you an idea what the uh, uh, theorem science and theorem argue is about. Uh, I introduced it uh, before quickly. Uh, so, uh, theorem science is uh, uh, geared towards uh, uh, observation data particularly from uh, uh, scientific uh, analytical uh, processes, technical processes that, uh, that bring back results, but also uh, uh, just observation by uh, eyesight or human, human senses. Uh, empirical sen sciences are, are based on observation and the observation data cannot be understood without knowledge about the ways and circumstances of their creation. So our challenge here is not to describe the, the content of the observation, but how we came to this observation so that we can decide about its quality and, uh, and validity. Therefore, we need metadata about the human observer, the objects of observation, which may be just an environment or something uh, 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 dis discrete, a process or a state. Uh, and behind any observation is a hypothesis. Yeah? Uh, being the built-in way how our brain and our eyesight works, yeah? or a uh, an instrument, uh, how we set up the instrument, and what we what we think are the relevant parameters. Uh, then we uh, need to identify the the object itself, the condition of the environment, so that we are sure what we have seen, the time and location. Uh, the instrumentation and, and methods uh, which uh, influence the results. And then we do data evaluation. Uh, we present results, so we need the identity, authenticity, and the transmission of the produced records until they come to our, uh, to our knowledge. Uh, so observation and data evaluation can be seen as meetings of people, things, and instruments in space-time. And this is the heart, the core idea of the CRM. So we see this pattern again and again. And it turned out uh, uh, after a long period of researching in e-science environments what the most fundamental data yeah, are that we need to register uh, about our scientific data, that it's all about activities and events. So there's no uh, no doubt in any competitive models to, to ours about that orientation. So, we can describe the scanning of a building or a, a museum object yeah, with a laser scan or photogrammetry as a meeting yeah, of an instrument and an operator with the object. Yeah. Uh, as we have meetings with people yeah, in, in a battle or so, yeah, and then someone carries over the knowledge. In that case, the operator has the machine and the machine has the data in it. Yeah? And it carries over the knowledge and then goes to a computer and does computing, creates a mesh and a 3D model on it. So it's transferred in one meeting from one machine to another. Yeah? So easy, it's the same as we meeting here and then you have the idea in your brain and then you go somewhere and you write it down. So, uh, the uh, the CDOC CRM describes these processes summarily as attribute assignment. Yeah? And says there was an attribute assignment that happened in some time and that assigned to something a value. And this value, uh, this assignment is about a type which is registered at the attribute assignment. Actually, this is a way to circumscribe, to reify a proposition, a triple in its own right. Now you have seen CRM inf, which describes an argumentation inference making and then separates this into beliefs and propositions. And this is the way how the transition is made into the CRM uh, that propositions in that sense 
are so, still circumscribed in the CRM by, by this, this way. So we can compute that and uh, implement it in a modern knowledge representation system and produce either oh, sorry, one presentation or all the other. So this is up to the technology. We have made the connection, the technology knows how to handle it. So we can, uh, for simplicity, we can just ignore this world if we don't want to discuss about beliefs because everything is thought to be true in our discourse, yeah? in our information system. I can later at that. <laughs> and then we go into more specialization and say, well, uh, knowledge in a scientific world or even in a, in a uh, scholarly world, as long as we de deal with some reality of the past, is based on observation, on belief adoption, which is citation, yeah? so, uh, and on inference making, and in a, in a uh, more uh, uh, quantita uh, quantitative uh, world, we have uh, uh, computerized data evaluation or simulation as kinds of inference making. And so, and here starts the world we describe with CRM Psi, knowledge from observation data evaluation and computer sim simulation. And this model now uh, is, it's not uh, based on any uh, 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 bright uh, introspection, but on uh, uh, empirical analysis of a set of, of important data standards. All the work we do in the CDRM and all the models we do are are based on uh, empirical material, on evidence that people actually work and, uh, uh, in these terms and that we can formally transform existing data structures into these models. So uh, just to give you an impression of the content, we have observations, we have measurements, we may refine the notion of measurements. Uh, but for a long time, it was a complete puzzle to us what means finding. Uh, so analyzing uh, uh, different concepts uh, related to, to observation where something is or so, uh, we uh, decided finally on this abstraction of the encounter event. So it's defined as uh, activities of observation where an actor encounters an instance of something and this observation produces knowledge about the existence of the respective thing at a particular place or so. So say that the, the objective substance is uh, that we have a meeting and a document about the fact yeah, of having met this thing plus whatever properties we say. And then CRM science goes into, into details of uh, states of matter that are more geared towards uh, geological and archeological problems of arbitrary segmenting an area and say what's in this arbitrary segment or so, which were not the concern of the CRM initially because these things don't go into a museum, for example. <coughs> So uh, we have valified, uh, validated this model in a series of applications in different sciences. Uh, and uh, this is outcome of, of producing metadata for geology, for biodiversity, for archaeology. Just to give you an example here, we have an encounter event, a specific one at this state. It's a real one, Sarah Faulwetter which is working in, in Crete at the Center for Marine Research uh, uh, in the Haifa Bay, uh, which is in this thing, uh, found a worm uh, in the mud using this grab, this equipment. So we have a CRM science extension, encounter event, a CRM science property. All other properties are still CDOC CRM, straightforward. Anything particular here 
is a bit of subclassing to the biology. And then we are absolutely adequate with Darwin Core, with the world of biology. We can describe big stories. The story behind is that this uh, was found by Sarah to be a new species. And then a huge discourse starts, follows uh, about a new species. So this is an excavation example. Uh, the experts may recognize a cross section through the soil with the stratigraphic units and then uh, here the, the famous uh, post holes. Yeah? Yeah. So the excavation process may start and just take off uh, arbitrarily. Yeah? Uh, spit method. Yeah? Uh, a layer. Yeah? And then, oh, we find an object and then we have to document its embedding in the surrounding matter. Yeah? Where precisely was this thing? So we have a concept of an embedding of this thing and an excavation process, which was the digging. This is the actual digging out and stop there and then document this thing. And if we analyze these things, then we talk about stratigraphic deposition units, field and stratigraphic interfaces, the surfaces. And say, oh, something, a stratigraphic genesis went, yeah, produced this thing, yeah, maybe man made, maybe natural. Yeah. Uh, if I know that it's uh, man made, then I can specialize. Then this layer yeah, was produced by another. And obviously, yeah, the expert will say, yeah, that must have been after that. Yeah. Uh, so then we can conclude yeah, from these, the specific physical relationship, a stratigraphic temporal relation between the events. And we have again the event pattern here, uh, reduce everything to events uh, and meetings. So uh, more formally, yeah, we have the event, the CRM science declares an encounter event. And then we have the CRM RQ specialization, which says that in when digging, yeah, we may encounter something, yeah, digging up, and then encountering an embedding, which is uh, an archaeological thing, and find the embedding of this coin at this particular spot within this unit, and so on. So uh, this is some of the competitors. I mean, besides the e-science ontologies, W3C try to solve the problem of, uh, of scientific provenance. Uh, without going into details, we regard that there are a lot of fuzzy things that are very difficult in practice to relate yeah, with the uh, uh, with, uh, specific entities without uh, uh, further declaration, they take, for example, software to be agents. They have the notion of activity, but it's unclear how this relates then to the to the other properties. Uh, so we, our models are much more detailed, are much more precise. We can do much more uh, deductions. Yeah. Uh, logical ded deductions from, from our models, then these models allow it to. So concluding, well, the archaeologist finds a coin, the biologist, yeah, for the biologist the worm occurs, talks about occurrences. Yeah. Uh, when we were in the CETO conference in Melbourne, yeah, the aborigines told us we are not pleased that the Europeans regard that their nation was being discovered. Yeah. So we were thinking a long time, OK, what, what is the common thing? And then we said, well, let's call it an encounter. So understanding what a, the objective substance or the, the functional substance is, what parameters we need in order to reason with that, yeah, what answers do we want to get out of the model, that allows us then to find a common pattern by looking at this completely interdisciplinary view. And then uh, new patterns emerge, and uh, things become very simple, uh, but quite different from what we intuitively would design. Uh. So then we come up with very clear objective properties. 
And similarly, we do it with measurements, sample taking, etc. So serum science is currently, uh, to our opinion, the most powerful generic e-science ontology. It's extensible. And uh, CRM RQ is a characteristic domain extension that you can make for biology, geology, and all these things. Thank you.